Hi there, everybody. Kevin Schulteis here on this June 30th on the eve of Canada Day of our 150 years as an official dominion slash country. And uh, that's uh, not necessarily including uh, all the years uh, the indigenous people, of course, were here well before uh, the Europeans. But that being said, if you are listening to this uh, and you're in Canada and you've been born in Canada or you came here well guess what you have one life to live and you are here with whatever current blessings or hardships that you currently got make the most of it so quit complaining let's all move forward and uh, let's make the best of everything life isn't always fair and it, it isn't fair and uh, we've been we if you're hearing this you are almost guaranteed to be guaranteed to be in the top one percent of all human kind uh, if you're listening to any kind of technology, uh, you you are probably in the top 1% of all humankind. So we definitely have blessings. All of us have blessings. And uh, we can move forward. So that being said, we are going to talk about today's topic. I just thought I, I saw this today. So I wanted to bring it up and just have a brief uh, overview of it. And if you have anything to discuss about it, leave uh, the comments down below and we'll see what happens. Um, and at the same time, if you have any additional news that you'd like me to cover uh, in regards to freedom, uh, I I'm Christian myself, so a lot of time, and a lot of my stuff is, um, a lot of the religious and the Christian stuff in particular gets attacked. Um, but in general, our freedoms uh, all across the board as citizens are constantly being hammered and are being taken away and we're giving them away and so I fight for freedom for all people and all religions or not religious or whatever too um, I fight uh, for morality and whatnot so and doing things right and not running a country that's super in debt and things like that because we are just outright destroying our country for future generations so i fight for freedom for everybody so if you have any other articles on that feel free to send them to uh, news at uh, kevin schultes dot uh, ca and uh, i'd love to take a look and who knows maybe i'll talk about them in a future episode but so here we are um we are dealing with the school board um uh, ending their agreement with a, a christian school because they weren't too keen on a certain Bible verse um, and I'm guessing there's probably a few but this just happens to be the the Bible verse of uh, you know the topic of uh, the month or the year or whatever the decade uh, this time around and it revolves around sexuality and uh, the issue in general uh, has to do with the uh, you know men not sleeping with men thing right you know and and they're really upset about that part so this school board is choosing to remove itself and ending its relationship in 2017-18 uh, at the end of this year at the end of that year right um, and they would welcome them back if they chose to get their act together um, but uh, or they can continue to operate as an independent school or join another school board so here's a school that decided to stick up for, hey, if we're a Christian school, we probably should have scriptures unedited uh, in in the Bible. Whether or not as a Christian or not a Christian, you, you don't have to uh, agree with everything in the Bible. The Bible is what the Bible is. We're, we're supposed to adopt to it, uh, and but doesn't mean everybody likes it. Well, guess what? not everybody likes punishment and not every you know a parent punishing their child for doing doing something or warning them um, about the consequences nobody likes to do that parents kind of don't like doing that kids don't like receiving uh, chastising either but or warnings but uh, hey sometimes you have to do what you have to do so here's a school board or school standing up cornerstone christian academy um, and they're standing up and they are getting some consequences so the school board wanted to distance themselves from the whole thing because uh, um, it is hurting their feelings or it might hurt some people's feelings so instead of the school teaching our young men and women uh, hopefully soon to be men and women instead of you know just raising a bunch of you know <laughs> 
babies throughout life and then we have into their 20s and 30s and 40s we have a whole bunch of adults all crying and ba and, and being crybabies on the internet instead of actually uh, teaching them uh, skills of uh, discernment and um, good communication skills and also good things that the Bible actually teaches saying hey don't get offended guess what being offended is your problem I could do something outright to you I could spit on you and there's only one person that I do not make you offended you choose to be offended just remember that the Bible actually teaches that and the Bible actually says choose not to be offended on many different things right so and to fix offenses whenever you can right if it's in your power to fix an offense do it you know um, but at the same time uh, it, it calls us to a higher standard and it chooses uh, we teach each other to die to self and choose not to be offended so that's okay so either way the school school is standing up for what it believes is right I don't know all the details and stuff like that but it is what it is. Uh, I know on this is a school board thing. Um, there is another school uh, slash uh, couple schools here in Canada in Edmonton area that uh, Pastor Brian uh, Coldwell. Uh, yeah, Pastor Brian. I forget his name. I think it's Coldwell or something. He's standing up and defending his school uh, against this onslaught of public money, telling all the schools what to do and what they can't do and what they must do and he's saying no I'm not gonna bow down to that and they're threatening to pull the public money and then there's a big fight a maybe they shouldn't pull the public money mm. my opinion is if you if you take public money and you're on the public dole you should probably do what they say um, or get off the public dole it all depends on who you answer to do you answer to the public or do you answer to your God-given um, right as a parent and obligation to teach your kids properly? Or do you bow down to Caesar if you're going to take Caesar's money? Either one, it's a choice. So just all depends on what you choose to do. So, And there are a handful of these schools supposedly standing up. So congratulations on that. Uh, I can't say much more to the topic because I'm not that familiar about this particular topic at least. But it did hit the news, hit Edmonton Journal. It's our main newspaper here in Edmonton and stuff like that. So anyways, congratulations. And again, if you have any news, send it to news at kevinschultes.ca. And I'd love to be able to see some of those uh, headlines and maybe I'll cover them. Uh, all things kind of maybe uh, uh, freedom related if there are things that you think that Canada on our eve of our 150th uh, anniversary here um, if you think there are things that uh, are showing our loss of freedom or things that uh, the general populace needs to know about send it in and uh, love to read it and we'll comment so feel free to comment below give me a thumbs up subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later okay freedom yeah freedom